This is big. There's another one. <laughs> well, welcome back everybody and or anybody. Christian with Make Time for Fishing here out on Breach Inlet again. I've been having a lot of fun on Wapu catching those reds on uh, artificial, but today I wanted to do something with some bait that I've been trying really hard to find and every time I call or go to the market, they don't have it. But I was fortunate enough to find some today. I have some fresh and actually still live blue crabs here. I don't know if the yield has not been great this year for uh, blue crab, but every time I go to the market or the bait shop, they don't have them. But I was lucky enough to pick up a dozen of them today. I brought about half of those. On the way out, I also decided to dig up some fiddler crabs. I'd love something to eat for dinner. So I'm gonna start out with the fiddler crabs on the sheep sticker jigs as well. So if I can find a good sheep's head, maybe a good slot red. Wish me luck and I uh, hope you all enjoy the video. If you do enjoy the video and you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. But anyway, let's get to it. Wish me luck. Approaching the first stock here. Uh, like I said, I'm starting out with fiddler crabs, trying to see if I can catch some dinner before I switch to the big blue crabs. I'm starting out with a half ounce sheep sticker jig. Uh, I just got a big order in the other day. I'm very excited. I also have some smaller sizes of the currents, not too strong. So my setup today is a 5.6 Shimano Solara. Uh, it's a medium power rod, very cheap, very affordable, perfect for fishing docks where you're very liable to break it. And that is paired up with my brand new Pen Conflict 2 2500. I have the little power handle on there that I just installed the other day. It's awesome. I really like it so far. This piling is deeper, so feeling a little better about it having sheep's head. Yep. A little guy, I think. Yep. Sheep's head, though. Target species. It's too small for us. They do really love those fiddlers. All right, let's get another one on. Hopefully I find some bigger ones without having to weed through a lot of little ones because I didn't get that many fiddler crabs, maybe 15 or 20. You know what? I'm gonna put on a lighter jig head. I want to try it anyway. Here's that 3 8 ounce size. Let me show you compared it to the half ounce. So as you can see, there is a difference in how big they are. The 3 8 ounce just has a little bit of a different profile, a little bit smaller. But what's nice is the hook is the same size. So I got my crab, but they are biting it very quickly. That's a good one. Come on out. Immediately got me wrapped up. There we go. Oh, he's not even that big. He just went behind the piling. Bigger than the last one at least, but still probably only like 12 inches. Felt big at first. Hope it was more than just you down there. All right, a lot of fiddlers now. Let's get that first blue crab quartered up and start dangling it down. Maybe we'll get lucky. And a uh, sheep's head or a keeper redfish will pick it up. Okay, so I'm gonna try to use this 3 8 ounce one, see if that works out. There we go, that's the first little quarter there. All right, let's start this over in the first section. The current's going out, that way the scent trail will just carry on through and attract more fish. Dang it, did not get a good hook set. Let's try again. <laughs> this 
Feels like a good fish. Get him around the pole. There we go, come on. It's heavy. It's a good red. Come on back here. Wow. Sorry if there's water on the lens now. Not much I can do about it when they fight like that. All right, let's take a look at this one. First chunk of blue crab down. Got a good, probably 27, 28 incher. That uh, blue crab and the jig are right inside of his mouth. Only took about five minutes to find him. Let's take a look. Yep, 28. <laughs> a little beat up, but uh, nice to see him. Pulled a lot of drag. Uh, the new reel felt great with it. Let's uh, get this guy back. You ready? Go the correct way. It's taking a second to get his breath. There he goes. Cool. Alrighty. Good start. Okay, well, that poor guy did not get any of the bait. He just broke it in half, so I still have that first bait here. I'm gonna see if I can uh, get a second guy on it. Strap back down. Did not make it very far last time without getting picked up. Actually, twice. I was just bumping it along the bottom a little bit. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> that didn't take long. Oh, that one's close to a slot. It's probably a little over. I'll have to see him again to make sure. Ah, uh, he could be, he's close to a keeper. He might be like 24, 25. Have to be 23 or under to keep, but he might be close. That was on the same bait that I got that last one. Let's get a look. Too big. He might be even 26. A lot prettier than the last guy, that's for sure. Need to get a little bit more slack up. There we go. <laughs> Ooh, that's a chunky guy. Yeah, this guy's over slot. Pretty. Still some of that bait in there too. Let me get a measure just to see, but he's definitely over. Yeah, he's 25. Thank you, buddy. I still have some of this bait, that's crazy. Okay. Bye, buddy. Don't tip anyone off, okay? And I still have a chunk of bait from that first piece. Look, this is all the first crab. I have three of the quarters left. This is still the first quarter, or at least a little bit of it. Let's see if I can get a third one on the same piece. That'd be insane. Same piece of bait. This is a little guy. Oh, he might be a slot. He looks like a slot. He's much smaller than the first two. Ah, uh, no, he's probably even smaller than I'd want to keep. He's probably about 18 inches or so. I try to keep him around 20, 21. 
Uh, no, you can, this guy gets to keep that little piece of crab now. All right, buddy. Three fish on one piece of blue crab, that's pretty cool. That's definitely not something I could do with a frozen blue crab. It would have broken a long time ago. Oh. This is big. Oh. I'm so glad he went straight out. Makes things so much easier. Just gonna take my time. Carry me down the creek here. Oh, that's a good one. That is a good fish. <laughs> See if we can get him landed on this pass. Oh, not even close. Not even close. <laughs> I can say for sure my drag's good. This one might be over 30. He's probably right around 30 at least. It's looking pretty big. And he's got a lot of energy. I'm way out in the middle of the creek now. I started under that dock. <laughs> All right, let's get him landed. Come on, over here. There he is. Nice. Nice fish. Ooh, it's heavy. I'm drifting pretty far off the dock where I started at, but this is a good fish. He's got a big old head on him. <laughs> wow. The 3 8 ounce sheep sticker jig, it's a one-aught hook little quartered blue crab. Let's get a measurement and I'm gonna get him back. Ooh, he's over 30. He's about a 31 incher. It's hard to tell because my ruler only goes to 30, but he's at least an inch over, so I'll call him 31. Let's get him back. Good, good fish. Okay, well, I'm heading in now. Uh, sun's starting to go down. I have probably 30, 45 minutes of light left, so I gotta get back to the ramp. This was a fun little uh, trip here. I was probably out here for about three hours. After the first hour, hour and a half, pretty much after I caught that uh, 31 incher, the bite totally shut off. I got a few bites the rest of the day, mostly little taps from sheep's head, but I missed set the hook on two or three pretty solid feeling fish that were probably red drum or black drum, but that's all right, I still had fun, got a few fish in while I could. I, I only used one blue crab that entire time. All of the uh, redfish I caught were on two pieces, and then I uh, actually just ended up throwing the last piece back just now. But I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, and remember to make some time for fishing. Have a good night.